Camera three rolling. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate my bug out kit for a big trip I'm gonna be doing, upwards of 8,000 kilometers if I can hold out. So I wanna go through what you see here. What you see here, first of all, is a poncho. I like to, all my equipment I like, as much as possible, I like to have multiple purposes. This is a multi-purpose poncho. It folds out on the sides so that it's a big square. It can be used as a tarp. It can be used as an emergency shelter. It can be used as a rain gear, as well as you can see backpack coverage and the bottom can be tied off so that it doesn't blow out under in heavy winds. It is made by Int Integral, you can see it's made by, and I like to carry with it some twine so I can tie off in tarping situations. This around my neck is a reflective device. I normally wouldn't wear it like this. I would normally wear it off to the side without the rain gear, just for traffic and so on so that I can be seen. Under this, under this is my main gear. You see up front I have what I'm going to call sort of an oversized fanny pack, but it's, it's quick access things that I need up front. You see I have a water bottle, I can put two water bottles in here. Up in the front I have identification, money and whatnot. And inside here I have snacks, as you can see, and anything else that I might need as I'm walking along, like earbuds. On the side, I keep ready access a sheathed knife because you always need a good quality knife. I need sorts of things. To my side here, I have my bear spray. I don't leave home without it and going in the mountains for sure. So I'll just take this off and I'll show you my, my bag, my main bag. My main bag is an Arcteryx. As you can see, this hip belt pivots. That is very important for walking because most of the load is, is, is taken up by the hips. And as you walk, your hips will rise and fall. If you didn't have the pivot, the bag would go back and forth, which is common with most bags. That's why I like this one a lot. As you can see, this stays attached to the bag, always. So whenever I put it on, I always know where the bear spray is. What you see here is my freedom flag. The reason I carry this is because it's, it's one of the reasons I'm walking. I'm walking for freedom. Walking is an expression of freedom. I happen to think freedom is a very important cause. It's not the only reason why I'm walking, but it is one of them. Inside the bag. The bag is composed of basically two parts. There's a top hat on it here, which has, I like to keep a it's a bit of a hood for the rest of it, but it has some compartments in it which I like to keep compartmentalized items. Up here is basically first aid, boot care, okay, the first aid kit and foot care. We have hygiene, boot care emergency sewing kit, medicines that I might need, water treatment and Vaseline and more hygiene components as well as reading glasses, pens and notebooks as well as backpack care for the seams. And inside here I have mostly my electronics. I have a spare camera for wide angle and zoom lens. I also have a battery pack for charging my electronics, as well as a leaf backup for my iPhone so that I can, I can continue to buy SD cards and basically download as many, as many things, as, po as, many, as much data as possible to this when I don't have Wi-Fi or access to the internet. That is my charger. I like, once again, I like multi-use tools. This one is a high low beam flashlight. It is, it has a small solar panel, so it will charge somewhat. It is also a char, it can be charged and holds quite a charge to do several charges. It's also, it's also got a crank generator on it so that it can be powered up as I'm walking along. I could be cranking it like this and producing power. That is interesting. And I've got several cables as well for the iPhone and for the, this one takes a, 
a mini USB. This is a, a blogger camera, a little Panasonic mainstay. And then of course, charger. That's the top hat. On the back, I have things that are not as particular to weather. Because this, this seam could potentially leak in a down, in a down blast of, of rain. Those are my rain pants. And I, if, if I have any paperwork, I can keep it in here. But this, this is not normally in here. I just have it there temporarily for now for demonstration purposes. I, if I have paperwork, I will store it up into the water bladder compartment, which I do right now. I have paperwork in here for another reason why I'm traveling, which I should show you actually. These are photocopies of this book. One of the things I'm going to be featuring, we featured in the Postmasters International Magazine for doing a, a competent communicator manual at various different clubs on my journey. So I'm going to use that just for demonstration purposes tonight. But I took the photocopies so I don't have to carry a whole book, lighten the load. Inside here, I compartmentalized it once again. On the top, I have food and cooking components. I like to carry staples. This is oatmeal that is high carbohydrate, definitely needed to keep up the glycogen. I have rice in a storable, dry rice. And I like to have, I always like to have sugar. And I like to have some salt. Those are the very, very basics. From there, I can go on up from there as I, as I can. But on, on the road, if I have that, I'm okay. And if I have water. This is my main kitchen right here. This is an MSR cook pot. It, the reason I like it is because I can actually close the top and it won't fall off. So if I cook a pot of rice and I cook it fairly dry and I only eat half of it, I can put it back in my pot sitting up, in my pack sitting upright. I could walk down the road for four or five hours and then I could eat it again. But in here I like to keep all of my components for cooking. There's my spork. And inside here I have my stove. This is a Primus stove, which I like to keep a lighter in here, and I like to keep a sparker if my lighter doesn't work. I can spark that with my knife and light my Primus stove, and the wet end doesn't matter if it gets wet, it still work. This is the pump for the Primus stove, and the little, and also there's a heat shield here which can be used underneath the Primus stove or as a as a wind a wind protector. If there's heavy winds coming from the side, you can fold this up beside the Primus stove and block the wind. And then the Primus stove itself is in a little bag here. And it's basically a very small hole in your hand little stove which folds out like, like so. And then it gets hooked up to fuel tank, which is over there. I've got it in here. Yes. This is the Primus fuel tank. It uses Coleman fuel, but it can also use um, jet fuel, which is, I forget what it's called now, diesel fuel, gasoline, alcohol, but ideally Coleman fuel. That's all there. And in, this, in this compartment also I have my very essential toilet paper and mini towel. The towel in here, which is a Mountain Equipment Co-op brand, I believe. Nope, it's a pack towel. Pack Towel Ultra. Very light, dries up very fast, and absorbs four times its weight. I got the hand towel size because it's still fairly large, as you can see. So that's the hand towel and the toilet paper. That's that side. I'm carrying that's just extra socks. And then I carry extra water on this side, as well as extra bungee cords. If I have to bungee my tarp or bungee anything to the side of my pack, carry them in there. I also carry a little vial of water from the Pacific Coast, which will make, all, make its way all the way to the East Coast. Deliver that there. Now, going down into the pack more, I've got a bag here. This is my basically my, 
my clothing bag. It's a watertight bag, so I keep my, my clothing dry. My clothing that's not used, the clothing that I've used I don't really care about. Then here I've got some gloves, utility gloves. These are great for clearing a, a site. It's slightly dark. I don't know what I'm grabbing. There's little leather gloves. Those are always handy. And then I have, I have uh, underwear which are non-absorbing underwear. They can be washed really quickly and hung up for several minutes because they don't absorb anything and they're dry and you're back on the road again with fresh underwear. That's, I've got a, pair of regular underwear which will probably disappear over time and then I've got a an overshirt by Columbia which has the heat the heat reflect heat reflection on the inside so once again it's very light but it retains body temperature body heat rather and I like to use merino wool these are merino wool mostly they're about 80% merino wool socks so they they seem to, they don't sweat very much and they're quite warm and quite comfortable. And another pair of regular underwear. That's it for, for clothing. Once again, just one of everything. That's all. I'm just going to layer up, uh, carrying a bunch of stuff. So I want to keep my weight really low. In the bottom, I have my basic camping equipment. This is Outdoor Research Alpine Bibby. It is Forget the weight of it. It's less than a pound, I believe. Very effective. I've used this in heavy rains. I don't get wet. I'm very comfortable. And it's got a slight, slight arc. A bivy, of course, is basically a cover for your sleeping bag. And in most cases, it just comes up and you've got your face exposed to the weather and you can cover it with something. But the Alpine bivy, it's got one little beam that goes across your face. So you've got a little bit of room there. And you cl climb in and it's like a mini tent. So that's, that's a really good pretty good unit and thanks to my brother's advice I upgraded my sleeping bag today to a mountain equipment co-op down a duck down sleeping bag which weighs 0.9 kilograms and it compresses I bought a outdoor research compression bag normally this is actually the bag for the sleeping bag this is how big the bag was for the sleeping bag. I was able to compress it into this size. It was very compact and once again about two pounds. And finally I have, this is a big, big Angus, big Angus brand, double Z or double Z, inflatable mattress. Very comfortable, four inches of air. You can blow it up just with your breath. And it's it's all of my all of my sleeping equipment is mummy style, mummy shaped. The Alpine Bibby slopes down, the sleeping bag slopes down, and so does this. So this is good for several reasons. One is the Bibby can be a bit of a hassle sometimes getting it to go straight because you can't actually climb in it. But when this is filled, you just hold up the Bibby and shove it in, and the Bibby is made because it straightens out the Bibby all the way down, and then you can shake your mat, your sleeping bag down there. It works really good. So that's. And it also gives you great ground protection. That's it, folks. That's all my gear. All laid out for you to see. All to be packed on my back. All, hopefully, within about 25 pounds. Less than 30 pounds, hopefully. See you again. Great chatting. Talk again soon. Bye for now.